elephant. Hello Crunches, Elephant Crunch here and we are trying Titan in space. Let's see if I can just... Yeah, that's better. Uh, let's see here. I'm ready to choose a button below, selection below. Hit tracking. Wait for input. Hmm. I do have a controller, but somehow it doesn't really work, so I need to like work more on it. Let's do a restart. I just did like a five second test. Wow, this is fascinating. The sun and it is just huge. Oh my god, it's oh, I'm in a spaceship. Very nice. Oh, this is so immersive. I can like see myself like my hands, my legs. Perfect. There's the empty space. Very scary stuff. All right, let's do this. Let's see. You. Welcome. Please sit back and relax. Uh, when Ray appears below, you may proceed. For help or option, tap button four. This is a miniature of Earth. It should appear to be 12.7 meters wide. It's actually a diameter shows above 12,756. Wow. The moon goes around. So cool. Whoa. <laughs> there he goes. Bye, Earth. Bye. Whoa. It's Mercury. No, Mercury is super close to the sun. Wow, I feel I'm super close. My God, it's huge. I can really feel that it is huge. When you have this headset on, I'll definitely recommend this to anyone. This is a great experience. It's one of the best VR experiences I had. What's this? Venus. Beautiful Venus. Hot is planted in the solar system. Hello Earth. That looks like Mars. <laughs> Hello Mars. Phobos. So you can see the big volcano. Right there. Shoot, man. Like, look at that volcano. It's so big. It's like <laughs> unbelievable big. Like, that's so much power. Look at that over there. There's like three volcanoes to like spear it up. Wow. Nuts. Really put it in perspective when you have uh, the virtuality you sit on. It's 
Ceres, 975 kilometers long. It's the largest asteroid and one of our five dwarf planets. is moving. Very impressive. Well done. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Beautiful Jupiter. This must be Jupiter's moons. Callisto and Ganymede. Most of the places for human base near Jupiter. Okay. Largest moon in the solar system and the largest larger than oh, that's really beautiful graphics. See like how much it got bombarded? All those like white spots are crashes from asteroids and comets. And they're quite new because they're white. So like they blew up like dust from the planet. And that's why you see like this white spot. There's some white spots there. Oh, the sun. Very nice. Io. See, that's a funny name. Europa. It's supposed to have water underneath it. Well, that's the theory. They want to, like, put a spaceship, land it on Europe, drill through the ice, and they think that's water underneath the ice on Europe you see those cracks those are friction those are like two ice plates shifting and the red lines are the shift the crack in the ice and steam is actually coming out like stuff is coming out like I love Europe planet I think if we fi find like small organisms, that is the best bet we have to find it. Because it has heat, it has water, and usually when we, when we find heat and water on our planet, we find life, like primitive life, like microbes, like small things. Wow, I'm like totally turned around. This is what happens. Like virtual reality, work in progress. Io most geological active object in solar system has four hundred active volcanoes. So if we need heat, that's the place to go. A lot of heat is going on over there. You have smooth surface of water ice, possible oceans underneath the surface. Exactly. Attempt no landing there. No, we have to land there. We have to drill through the ice and see what's under the ice and what's in the water. We have to go there. Super important, man. Bye bye, Europe. Bye bye. Ooh, Saturn. Very nice. My God, it's pretty. That is a pretty planet, man. Very impressive. 
Rigs are 10 meters to one kilometer thick. Wow, 10 meters. That is not a lot. Made out of water ice, hexagonal storm of North Pole. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. But it's pretty. Ooh, oh, this is cool. This is very cool. What is that for there? Is that some comparison pan? Pan? Quiet and walnut shaped Saturn's innermost moon orbits inside. Wow. Pan's gravity sends ripples hundreds of kilometers into the ring. Huh. Would be cool to have a base there. On uh like right there on Pan. And like what a view from your base. You will basically see this. Wow, oh, this is I recommend anyone that has a VR go out and try this. This is freaking fascinating. My god, space is fascinating. <sighs> you forget it when you're all like in school, work, and family, and friends, girls, wife, shopping. But there's a space out there. It's a big, big place. Mimas Excellentus Teddies Rear. I heard about rear. No, for resembling the Death Star because of large hedge crater. <laughs> that's true. There's a big crater in the middle of that one. Wow. Is that a volcano wave? Maybe. Insalatus. Very reflective moon with volcanoes of ice, South Pole, liquid water near surface. Ah, oh, see, yeah, you see that little blue spike in the bottom? That's actually ice, water ice that gets like projected out in space. It has like huge geysers that comes out of it. It has like liquid water near surface. Might be microbes on that one. Tetris most made of water ice, like Mimas also has giant impact crater. There's an impact crater up in the north. Diano, bright wispy ice cliffs up to several kilometers high formed by tectonics. Wow, look at his green. And shifting. See, there's a lot of ice on all these planets. That's very cool. Rhea. Wow, it has a lot of craters on it. Like Diana also have wispy ice cliffs. Ties in the largest of the Saturn's moons. It's the only known moon with a substantial atmosphere. Has liquid methane lakes. Yeah, I remember that. When a Russian uh, probe landed. Quite cool. Very cool.
This is so cool. Ooh, cool stuff. Any bombs? Yeah. Oh, what's that? What the hell? It has a ring on, around it. Known as Ladis Centaur, which is an asteroid that orbits the sun between Jupiter and Neptune. It also has the smallest ring system ever discovered. I never heard about that planet. It's fascinating. It's like it's an asteroid will look like a planet. Yeah, it's around us. It has like a haze. This looks like a big cloud. One of two ice giants has coldest essence in its solar system. Yeah. Moon are not yet well mapped. We are lots of broken terrain, there are lots of cut grooves and form. Polygons. They look like they're made out of rock mostly. It has large canyons. <laughs> Neptune. Very active weather with highest wind speed. Two thousand one hundred kilometers an hour, I think I said. Jesus Christ! That's pretty fast. Triton. Wow, that formation. Crazy. Largest moon by far. Captured by Neptune from Cooper Belt. As Neptune migrated outward, frozen nitrogen surface. Wow. It's huge. Awesome. Milky Way up there. Pluto, which not a planet anymore. Poor Pluto. Two out of four outer dwarf planets show here. <laughs> here is a three times further away than Pluto. Like Pluto is really far out. Really far away. Empty space. I wish the camera would like turn a little bit. But I tried a lot of like games and demos in VR and it seems like a lot of them have problems like stabilizing. Pointing straight. Whoa. It is Turning a little bit to the right. It's autopilot, yeah. I wonder what that meant. Like maybe like you can like fly your own ship. Sun our own star. Hmm. It is huge. It's a hundred billion h-bomb per second output of power. That is a lot of power. Shrinking space into a little bit more. Oh, there's a big asteroid there. Space has been further shrunk down. Oh, 
That's one of the big suns out there. Uh, bigger suns than ours. Giant Callistan genus. Huge sun. Way bigger than ours. Like a lot. Like that's like an alien sun in another solar system. That's awesome. See the difference? <laughs> Going to have a planned orbit doing it. That planet is at least two to two point three times the mass of Jupiter. That's huge. It's a huge planet. Oh my God! Is that a planet? Freaking huge. Hundred and three million kilometers wide. Jesus. Blue white super giant brightest star in the constellation. Oh, so that's like a star? Oh yeah, I thought it was a planet. Oh my god, it's a bigger star. That's 1.9 million kilometers. That one's 103. Our sun is over there. Look at that little yellow spot. That's our size sun. That's just nuts, man. Red Hypergiant, one of the largest known stars in the, our galaxy. 12 billion suns. Yeah, that's a lot of energy. A lot of heat. Just imagine if we could harness that energy in space. Base, are we gonna be close? <laughs> the sun that is cool. I like it. Where we go? Where we go? And that's our sun. A little bit of sun. Felt so big before, but it's not. It is very small. Wow, look how small our sun is compared to that sun. That's just mind blowing, man. Look at all the energy that comes out of this sun. All the freaking energy. Oh my god, man. That's a lot of freaking power. Fascinating. <laughs> it's like 1.3 million kilometers. <sighs> ah, the universe is a pretty big place. If it's just us, seems like an awful waste of space. That's true. Solar system distance are expanding.
Earth's actual orbit. Okay. Fascinating. We're like so far away, but still feel the heat from the sun. Ah, that's like pretty crazy. the orbits of all the planets here's Pulok's place at the center of the solar system no harm done except all life would burn up and planetary orbits would be sent into chaos here's Regal Place in the center of the solar system, we don't need really like light. Quickly draw all planets into a star. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like if it was that big red sun in our galaxy, we would not do that great. Yeah, we will. We will die. Lost control. I don't hope so. Auto bar offline. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, crunches. I hope you enjoyed it. Put a like below and subscribe if you want to like support me. Or the channel if you find it interesting and uh, i'll see you next time bye